Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the new Pokemon 2019 titles for the Nintendo Switch and how the graphics are going to be quite different from previous iterations in the series. So if you do like this content make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more of these to come in the future. This channel is mostly based on Pokemon and Smash Bros but there will be other Nintendo stuff along the way. So if you do like that make sure to subscribe for more to come in the future and without further ado let's begin with the video. So what do we already know about these Pokemon games for next year? So we do know that they're coming out in the second half of next year and that there will be new Pokemon. Those two facts already tell us a lot about the development cycle for these games. We can tell that there are there's probably about uh, three years, at least three years of development into this game as there is this is a brand new uh, main series game with new Pokemon, most likely a new region. Um, so I would say that this has been in development for at least three years and most maybe even up to five years so you know this is quite a big deal for the Pokemon company um, and this is going to be a quite good indication of how the graphics are going to be very changed like very vastly changed in these new ones so there are three options in these games in terms of uh, quality there is the first which is Sun and Moon models which are in HD this is kind of like the simple route they could take uh, so not much development is needed for the actual graphics but they could uh, develop the story more if they wanted to do that uh, the Sun and Moon models are proper full-scale 3d models so that is pretty good but I would I would rather prefer a more upscale from Sun and Moon so I can see them doing that there are like videos on YouTube if you search them up um, for HD and 4K Sun and Moon models from Citra, so those are pretty cool. And um, people have done let's plays of them. And it does look pretty cool to be honest. But I would like to be, I would like it to have a little difference from Sun and Moon. But that is one option. The second option is something called cell shading. Uh, a game who what, which represents this pretty well is Nino Kuni. It seems to have the again like different models from Sun and Moon, but it's it's got a different type of um, like layout to the models in itself so I can see them doing that it's basically somewhere between uh, the Sun and Moon models and say um, the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker that's a probably a good example as well because that uses cell shading and it does look really really nice I think Legend, uh, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild uses it so I can see them you know doing that it doesn't take much effort I don't think if they keep on keep the Sun and Moon models and just just use a bit of cell shading on there. I don't think this is just like a little side fact. I don't think they're going to use the models for the Let's Go games. I think that was just a little quick iteration to use, um, as all those models are just Pokemon Go models in HD. So I think them. I think they're going to do something either different from uh, the Sun and Moon models and the Let's Go games and I think they're going to go with the cell shading. I'm probably most likely cell shading or my next point which is going to be the Pokémon tournament style. So very detailed, more lifelike. I would like to see every single Pokémon in uh, with like fur and stuff like Pikachu's got like fur which, which you could see in Pokémon tournament. Um, but you know who, who knows at this point. The, I'm thinking there's going to be some type of fusion between cell shading and Pokémon tournament. If we are saying that the Pokemon uh, development is going to be about three years, I most likely see them doing cell shading. But if this has been going on for far longer than we actually think, then I definitely can see them doing somewhere between the cell shading and Pokemon tournament. I don't see them doing a full out Pokemon tournament, but if they do, that is quite a big leap from previous titles. So um, you know, I most I the highest chance I can think is somewhere between Cell Shade and Pokémon Tournament. But um, you know, it depends how they, how much they want to put that into the graphics. Because so I can see them as as they've done in, in the past games, uh, the story has improved along the way. So I, I I can see them doing something a little bit less more impressive than we actually think it's going to be, uh, and more maybe improve the story a little bit. Because you know Nintendo, Nintendo is not about graphics. Nintendo is about playability and the story, most likely. Um, so I, I, I think it's going to be one of those. 
So thank you guys for watching. If you do like this content, make sure to like and subscribe for more content to come in the future. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you.